WTA Tianjin. We're going to uh, tell me a little bit, James, about this tournament first of all, and are any of the big guns there? Uh, yeah, so this tournament is basically it's one of the slower tournaments in China, um, and Kenin was heading the tournament. Um, she's withdrawn, and you've now got Yastremska, who is the betting favorite for the tournament. So it's probably what I would call a moderately open event, but the, the difficulty is always, even if you don't have the very top of the field there, um, it's really more about do you have viable underdogs uh, to pick and you know, kind of viable people to take the top of the field on with. Because if you don't, sometimes it can actually make sense to take someone from right at the top of the field, like Yastremska, and basically hope that they're able to play professionally enough for the week to take advantage of the weak field. It's nice. I look at it and it says, Diana Yaremstremka at seven. Uh, yeah, so this is, if you read my article <laughs> at osmarket.com, I tipped this this Saturday. Kenan was originally part of my bets, but obviously she withdrew after winning the doubles title. Uh, so yeah, Diana Yastremska is a young Ukrainian teenager who's just been in on a meteoric rise up uh, the rankings over the last couple of years has a really huge hitting game off both wings she's supremely confident and on her day she can take down any player uh, her weakness is really that with a power hitter often comes unforced errors so when she's not firing at her best uh troubles can come but she's looked really good as of late obviously has made a couple of few good runs, took down Karolina Pliskova recently. Uh, and she's had a fantastic, uh, fantastic season here. And if we look at this draw here, in the bottom half, uh, we have Zai Zai Zheng as the big seed and in her quarter there. And uh, she had a bit of a trouble against Duan Yingying. Ying. Should have actually lost in that first round. Uh, but I just think that this draw is pretty soft in general, and Diana Skamska is one to take advantage. Uh, mm, yeah. Okay, James. Magda Lynette, outright at 21, a bit different to Yastremska at 7. Yeah, so she's um, she's 11. Um, but I, So I think this is one that I considered in the bottom half. Again, the difficulty is who you're wanting to take on in the event, who you're actually wanting to oppose. Um, and I think I, with someone like Lynette, she's the kind of player that's going to give you a lot of value for your money generally. She's going to work hard. She's going to keep playing, um, you know, kind of her best tennis generally through tournaments. She's going to be grinding out wins. Um, but she doesn't always have what it takes against the top uh, top opposition. So I actually steered this one in the end. Um, I considered it a, a 11 now as a sort of slight underdog option in the bottom half um, but yeah i wasn't wasn't certain enough of the value james why is she 11 now and she was 21 is it because of the uh, was it kenin came out um yeah i mean it, she i think she was 21 uh, last round this this round um she's down to 11 because obviously she's got through a couple of rounds as well OK, OK. Well, here's one that you're both in agreement with. Snyders, I'll start with you. Rebecca Peterson outright at nine. Is she still nine? Uh, I'll have a look. She should still be nine. Uh, she hasn't played yet. We'll see. Uh, yeah, she's nine. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, nine and eight, depending on where you get it. Uh, so, yeah, Rebecca Peterson, she was, if you read my article, she was one of the names uh, that I headlined there and I had circled. Uh, it was either her or Kennan in that top half of the draw. Uh, the Swede has had a career year. Uh, she surged to world number 52 in the rankings after winning uh, notably Nanshang here in China a couple of weeks ago. And she has a really solid game, doesn't make a lot of mistakes, moves well, hits well off both wings, and just overall a very, very solid player. Full of confidence right now, she came through a tough opener against Venus Williams, who's been actually playing some rejuvenated tennis as of late. Uh, so that was a very impressive win. Uh, and now with Sofia Kennan being out in this top half, it's completely wide open. Carolina Garcia, she's last year's champion, but she's been woeful for uh, the almost the entire year, and she hasn't been the same player. Julia Putintseva uh, came through an almighty struggle, probably should have lost to Asta Sharma, uh, who served for the match, and uh, Putintseva might be one a big seed to oppose. Uh, and apart from that, we have 
Shi Yu Wang, Chinese youngster. She's really impressive. We have Onge Jibur. Uh, but in general, just not that many strong players. I would definitely expect Peterson to make the final here uh, if she can get through Garcia, assuming she gets there, and have a great chance of winning this title. OK, well, let's have a quick look at the individual that you both... And they're, they're, this is a massive uh, pointer, that when they both agree with the same bet... James, Peterson minus four and a half at 1.66 to beat Wang. Yeah, so a lot of things go into this one. Um, as Snice said, Peterson, very sort of solid player who's had a very good year. She won her maiden uh, main level title, so a non-ITF title, uh, just a few weeks ago, at the beginning of September in Nanchang. Um, so she's in good form. She is particularly, she does sometimes struggle against top quality opposition but she's particularly good when she's the favorite because she has very very good mental consistency she's won 41 of the last 50 as the favorite and you would have actually netted a 19 percent return if you'd backed her in every one of those matches which is very impressive at those kind of odds um and in essence i think she's the kind of player who will make the youngster work um, i mean wang is a very is a talented youngster she's 18 She's got a lot of potential. Uh, she, I think she won both the Australian Open and the French Open juniors. Um, but basically, she's not been able to, to bring that onto the main tour. She's zero for seven against the top 100. And in six of those matches, the handicap would have won or been void because she retired in one of the matches. So, so far, she hasn't really shown any ability to test someone like Peterson. Last week, she lost to Yafan Wang uh, one and two um, which again is kind of like, it's the kind of loss where it very much indicates the level she's able to play at. This week she lost in qualies, um, again, quite comfortably priced as the favorite, in fact, um, and then basically got given a lucky loser spot. So she's been quite lucky to make it into the main draw. Um, as Snai said, Peterson had an excellent win in the first round over Venus Williams, um, who has been playing very well, and she looked very comfortable in that match. She was basically, I would argue, she was definitely the better player from the back of the court. Um, and if she's the better player against Venus, I would be very surprised if she wasn't able to dominate against Wang. Um, so, yeah, we've taken the minus four and a half games at 1.66 with Bet365. Yeah, the big thing for me is I asked you to put one up and you both put up the same bet. That's an indication straight away. Jump all over that 1.66. <laughs> OK, boys, well... We've done the men, we've done the women. Go over to oddsmarket.com if you want to see the lads' articles. They're coming thick and fast. We'll speak in a few days and we'll, uh, we'll see how our outrights get on, gentlemen. Great. Cheers, Flash. Sounds like a plan. Cheers. Hey, good luck, lads, and uh, keep up the great work.